What is going on crows? Welcome back to another video. Today we are building a massive pond in my front yard of the new house. This is PC Farm 2.0. And this is the first project going down here at the farm. As you know, we got a big fish building getting built in the back here in a little bit. 50 feet long, 28 feet wide. You could see the corners here. That's one flagged corner, and the other flagged corner is there. So it's a big, big building. Back to the front. <laughs> Hector! Yes, sir. So yesterday, Hector came over here with the truck and pulled all, pulled all the bushes, the bushes out. One way to do it. And this morning, did a couple wheelbarrows that way with his buddy. How many? 40. 40? And they cleared this out to where we have now this. After that, we then measured everything we needed. Seven on this side, and another seven on this. Oh! Sorry, Hector. This Sorry. Side. $35, man. <laughs> two bricks, 14 plywoods, 18 2 by 6s six 2 by 6 by 12s 11 2 by 4s and screws. Yep. All right, Ooh, a whole lot of wood and a lot more stuff. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And we actually ended up going with two by fours instead of two by sixes, just due to the fact that we're not making this pun as big as initially thought. Yeah, about that, it ended up being massive. A hundred pieces, all right? A hundred? Yeah. If we want to make Sea World, <laughs> we could be at a hundred. <laughs> we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Two more. 13. Let's go get uh, the screws. Three and a half. Three and a half. Three and a quarter. Maybe three, three quarter. Yeah, but. Alright, okay, Fraz, I'm showing you this mostly so if you wanted to randomly do this with someone, this is that's how you do it. Yeah, I gotta stay hydrated. What, what gotta stay hydrated. hydrated. Although it's like 57 degrees out right now, which is a miracle. We got a whole pond in front of us right here. This is literally all a pond. That's a juicy total, Hector. How much? That's still got taxes. Taxes? Oh, yeah. It's this darn plywood nowadays, huh? $700 a piece. 39, wow. Which led us to all of this right here. In the back of the truck, here at the house, and it's time. It's time to build, baby. But this is gonna be the most baller pond. It's, it's lengthy, it's all the way down the whole house, the whole front. 24 feet long, about a little over three feet high, so about 40 inches high, and five feet wide. Yep, five feet. It's gonna be epic, strap in, because today's video is gonna be crazy. Crazy! My alarm didn't wake me up. I woke up late, unlike Hector though, who did get up on time. Hector! Yes sir. The trailer's looking good, man. Yeah, man, thank you. If you remember, we surprised Hector with this trailer a couple weeks ago and he's completely turned it into exactly what I thought he would turn it into, to be quite honest with you. This is what Hector has done this morning. He just built a one wall. I mean, I'm only like two hours late, you know what I mean? It's not too bad. I didn't know you were coming so early. Yeah, man. It looks good though. So this is the height of the pond. So from right here, all the way down to the ground will be water. If I had to take a guess, once we get the pond fully built, I'll do a gallon check at the end. 2,500. Today is just building the frame and putting the plywood. We're gonna get the whole thing done. Yeah, the frame, the frame, plywood, yeah. and maybe the, the rock. The rock, so possibly the rock, because we want to do that rock edge on the front, just like the 4,000 gallon. So now the goal is to drill into the con- Oh, he's about to do it, here we go. Concrete screws. That a couple more times and we're set. So just picture that frame right there around the entire pond, then plywood on both sides, which you guys have seen us build something similar to this. The 4,000 gallon was concrete, so that was so big we had to use concrete. In this case, we're using wood, but the 1,000 gallon in the fish room, we did just this exact same way. And there is our wall. As you can see, Hector's just going at it. These types of videos are my favorite to make, not only because it's a new thing on the property, but because I love ponds. I envision all of this prior, and then Hector's art and handwork comes into play here. I try to help as much as I can, but you know, I can't yell that if I try. <laughs> My neighbors 
kids are like, this kid just moved in. And every single day there has been drilling, polishing, some sort of you know, some sort of noise like that <laughs> on this property. I'm sorry, neighbors, I love you. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. How do you say inches in Spanish? Pulgadas. Pulgadas? Pulgadas. Pulgadas. Pulgadas, yeah. 102 pulgadas. You know my Spanish audience is definitely loving having you around. These days I feel like a good portion of the earth is bilingual. I wish I was bilingual. That's one of my goals before I die is to learn how to speak Spanish. Ciento dos pulgadas. Imagine taking a seat right here, just vibing. You got koi fish right in front of you. I mean, can't beat this. Or, I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. I said koi fish. But that's a question I have for you, watching. Drop a comment what you think I should get for this pond. Should I put the red tail catfish in here? Should we do like a, just a colorful pond? Molly Platties, goldfish, koi. Comment down below, because I need every bit of suggestions I can get. <laughs> Golly, this pond is huge. It's just not as wide. So the 4,000 gallon is 22 feet long, I believe, and it's eight feet wide. This pond is 24 feet long, but it's only five feet wide. Look at it up there, wow. <sighs> Got the boys some lunch, that's where I was at, so I probably missed a little bit of action. There you go, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Update on the pond, fellas. Look at this, wow, it is big. That's what she said. <laughs> hey, fellas, what do you think? Let me know your opinion down in the comments down below, whether you like it, hate it, or eh. I think it's the best location a pond has ever went on my entire uh, channel's lifespan. That was a sick shot. Walls are going on, we are on the next step, and that's a big step. It's getting the whole entire outside covered in. After we put the plywood on, we will then put this stuff. There's a lot of different steps to doing this right here, um, but yeah, the next step is this. Gotta put plywood along the whole entire thing. This is a whole different layout of a pond. I say that because once the liner goes in, there's gonna be a lot of different things the liner kinda goes around. For instance, the liner's gonna be up here, but it'll go down and then actually cut in and then go down even more. So it'll be a little bit wider at the bottom. There's gonna be a lot of places that we need to cover with underlayment. So in this project in particular, underlayment's gonna be a big, big, big thing. I might even do two layers as a matter of fact because a lot of roots, possible pieces of wood chips that are down there. You never know what could be in the ground. Rocks, so many different things. And we're tucked up against the house and a driveway, which is a lot of concrete. So for instance, there is just, uh, yeah, you see the concrete, uh, there's roots coming out of the ground right here. Nails, that I'm just kidding. Those were obviously picked up prior to laying the underlayment, but yeah, you'll see wood chips like that. Um, Oh, these are actually pieces of concrete. That's a piece of the tile that broke off. But yeah, you wanna make sure the bottom of the liner is not being pierced by anything. You gotta think of it this way. When you put the underlayment in, it doesn't look like anything's piercing it, but once that water pressure pushes down on the liner, and then leak. Well, we're here. Back where we were when we first built the 4,000 gallon. We have to pick the wall we want for our pond. Many different options. That's really nice. Um, so is that. Also that is, they're all nice. Um, I am thinking though, something along the lines of this. Maybe that. I think that would look nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm totally kidding, that is horrific. I, I'm so sorry if one of you watching has that on their wall or something. I guess we all have our own taste, right? Anyway, dark would look really, really good. I think that, that would look super good. I wish I had someone else here. I need 135 square feet. So meaning, let's see how much is in each box. Square feet per box, five. Bruh. 27 boxes I would need, and there's not 27 boxes here, so unfortunately that one's a bust. That is beautiful. 
that, that's beautiful. And there's definitely enough boxes here. They're a bit more money, a dollar more, but I think that's gonna be the one. It's got a little bit of gray to it. It's got like a little sand color as well. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm excited for this, dude. I'm stoked. 2022 is gonna be an epic year. Let me tell you, Ferris, I don't even think you know. Once this building goes up in the backyard, it's a long process behind the scenes, hence why I haven't uploaded much. Like, there's so much going on. I got the OG PC farm. I got the PC farm 2.0 that we're creating right now. I have the other fish house. That's built off in the fish. And it just is a lot of work behind the scenes, off camera, stuff that I don't typically share with you. And that's why I've been so busy. But I'm making bangers only this year. I really, I truly believe in quantity over quantity. This year, I just want to make bangers. Yes, sir. Andre. I gotcha. <laughs> That looks insane, fellas. It's the next morning and we're doing the wall. Oh, brother, look at this. Look at this. This looks incredible. Hector. Yes, sir. You man of many talents. We almost we're almost done. Almost done. This is crazy. Oh, the back's actually done too. Yeah. Check it out, guys. Look at this. It looks so good too. It's, it's the perfect color. Like, look at that. The floor matches with that, and that matches with the house. It looks fantastic. Oh yeah, 10 set. Beautiful. Look at all the layers of work. I mean, literally. Check that out. Sheesh! Best part is, don't need a permit because this is temporary technically. It's not drilled in anywhere and could be easily removed like that. No rebar, so you No can, concrete, no rebar. You can move it. We can move it. Code violation. <laughs> it looks crazy, Kaferos. I think I'm gonna end the video right here. This is exactly where I would like to end it. It just, wow, beautiful. Underlayment, liner, and then a piece of uh, wood will go right here. This right here might be the coolest pond we've ever made. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and we'll see you in the next one where we do another crazy, crazy project here at the PC Farm 2.0. Say it, Hector. Bye-bye. See you. Peace. See you tomorrow. There's the, oh, sorry, I hit you in the head with the mic. <laughs>